Well, glory be and mercy me, we've done it yet again. Here we are on our daily walk around the graveyard. Uh, today, I think the subject is going to be terror in the age of the capitalist death cult. That we have reports coming out from the UN, from the IPCC. We have seven years, say they, to deal with this crisis of climate change, to drastically reconfigure our society, to drastically lower our emissions, to drastically do anything about this climate catastrophe that we ourselves are generating. And what are we doing? Nothing. Nothing that matters, really. The Biden administration has spent more money bailing out failed banks than it has combating the climate change crisis. My own provincial government, the Doug Ford administration, is openly lying about how uh, excellent an environmental minister and how excellent an environmental record they have, when the very first thing they did when they came into office was destroy 700 climate change related plans. The effect on the populace can't be overstated. We are being openly terrorized by organizations and by people who, in my opinion, and I don't think it's hyperbolic to say, are worse than the Nazis ever were. That even the Nazis weren't attempting to destroy themselves. The Nazis weren't attempting to destroy the land and the air and the water. The Nazis weren't attempting to destroy their own children and the possibility of life on this planet in meaningful ways. That we have set ourselves on a course for our own self-immolation and self-destruction because of our worship of money, our worship of ourselves, and our worship of our own stupidity. And we seem, as a people, to be standing like the deers in the headlight, the deer in the headlight, unable to move unable to do anything, unable to respond rationally to a looming crisis and a looming threat that is knocking at our doorstep. And it is because we have been successfully terrorized that we have been rendered stupefied, that the only solution truly that remains for humanity, for Westerners, for ourselves is to gather en masse as a people and surround the halls of power and demand that something be done. But even that action carries with it a great amount of terror. The terror of lost employment, the fact that we are tied to our employer for our survival, this by itself is an act of terror that the death cult inflicts upon the populace. The, and the reality that should we actually go out into the streets and protest and act on the scale that we must in order to confront the terrorism of the capitalist death cult, that that will be met by overwhelming police and military force. That we are collapsing, overtly and obviously, into a fascist state that is being ruled by people who are literally praising Jesus Christ and saying that the rapture is upon us. That what we are looking at, without any doubt, is a death cult that has ceased to believe that the actions that we do here on earth have any meaning on this plane of reality, and they are instead looking 
to their deaths and the afterlife, that they are building their treasures in heaven and s while simultaneously burning down the earth. How is one to live in this situation? How is one to exist and go on in this world, knowing that every action we take and everything we do to further our own individual survival flows down the path towards our own immolation and self-destruction. That the crowd of people, the fascists and the Shapiros and the Petersons, who are walking around saying, just get a better job, stand up straight with your shoulders back and bootstrap, are basically telling you to murder your children through fire. That what is coming for our societies and what is coming for our civilization, people get fairly hung up on the water wars, people get fairly hung up on the resource wars that are coming and the balkanization of the United States and the internal civil war and the collapse of the society that is most certainly upon us. People tend to get hung up on that and no one seems to want to accept that the wildfires are coming, that what is happening is that the planet is heating up, that the forests will ignite that the fields for which we use to grow our food will become deserts and dust. We seem not willing to actually grapple seriously like adults with the reality of what turning the heat up will do to us. That the town of Lytton in British Columbia ignited because of the spiking heat due to climate change and the ignition happened so quickly and burned the town down so fast that the fire trucks were unable to make it out of the fire hall. We will not be able to respond once the wildfires sweep through our lands. This is the terror that the capitalist death cult is inflicting upon us. We will turn on our faucets and the water that will come out of it will be boiling. The air around us will become so oppressive that mercifully we will pass out before we roast to death. And we all, to an individual it seems, continue to go to work for the very people who are responsible for the creation of this terrorist society. That what we are doing can only be described as a hysteria and a form of madness that we must snap ourselves out of. The ruling class has gone fully psychopathic. They do not care if they destroy us. They are happy to terrorize us. They are happy to destroy the civil society. They are happily giving more money to themselves than they are using to attempt to solve the problem that they themselves are funding disinformation campaigns about in order to convince us that everything is fine when very obviously it is not. We have to surround the halls of power. There's nothing left for us to do. There is no value in this culture. Always remember, you are a quantum being walking around in quantum energy. These billionaires are spending hundreds of billions of dollars in the hopes you'll never realize it. You'll just stay the good little commodity they need you to be. Revolt. Rebel. Repent. Good luck. We're gonna need it.